Hello YouTube and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a smart AI for your Blender game and it's not going to be smart as in Call of Duty smart where it ducks and hides and reloads stuff like that it's just going to be a little zombie kind of AI that can go through a maze the quickest way possible to get to you alright so to start off you're going to want two players they're going to be one's going to be your good little human the other's going to be the evil little zombie so you want to name him zombie and whatever you want to call him, I'll just call him me because I'm awesome. So now, you're going to want to build the maze. Now, whatever the maze is, it has to be part of the floor. That's what the zombie is going to be going through. So, <clears throat> our plane is the floor. I'm going to build the maze out of this. So I'm going to press Control R to do the loop cut and start building this maze. I'll just pause it and come back when I've built the maze. You can muck around. While All right, so I've built my maze. This is it right here nothing too fancy and a little spike of death alright so now we're gonna set up the navigation mesh that is what the zombie will use to find you the player so to do that make sure you're set to blend a game up here you wanna go to your scene settings you wanna click on your floor go to navigation mesh and build navigation mesh now go ahead and make sure that everywhere you want your zombie to be able to go that it's big enough for it to fit say right, I'm just gonna scale this down a bit so he can fit wherever he wants to go I'll scale the player down as well right. so this is your navigation mesh it's all wonky and weird colored in the normal untextured mode and when you play a game in textured mode it is invisible All right, now to set up the controls you wanna make sure your zombie is dynamic give him a collision bounds and a box don't have to worry about the margin now you want to gonna you're gonna want to open up the damn just open up the logic editor editor ha and um now what you're gonna give him is a always and for the actuator make it steering path following select your human and your navigation mesh which is automatically called nav mesh so just join that together and as you can see he starts figuring out where to go now if you want to see where he's going select visualize and it's going to show you the path that he's going to take to go to your player now it's not too complex as it is that's basically how zombies work they just follow you blindly through corridors now it is a very smart AI system well not super smart technically speaking but for inbuilt AI, it's pretty smart. Over here, with your nav mesh properties, it gives you different options which you can choose for your zombie to be able to do. For example, um, max slope, that's the biggest slope you can climb is 45 degrees. Past the point of 45 degrees slope, you can't climb it. Max climbing distance, 0.9. So if an object is higher than 0.9, it can't climb over it. So if you were to incorporate this with, say, animations, then you could make a fairly decent game of zombies I guess and then you can go ahead and add some basic controls to your player which is just WASD so four keyboard sensors and four motion actuators and join them all up quick tip is you don't really need to add controllers unless you want to be mucking around with the different ones like OR and Python and stuff like that what you can usually do is just add a sensor and an actuator and just join them up here like so it's a lot quicker than not really a lot quicker but for you impatient people it does save a couple seconds of time so just add your WASD keys give it some motion uh, long axes too fast Jeez. Oh yeah, and as soon as your player goes outside the map, the zombie is going to try to get as close as he can to it, but he's not going to be able to go past this point. So that's just something to keep in mind. Oops. Nearly done, guys.
and yeah, you can go ahead and pick an angle and give it a go. Wait, make sure your human player is dynamic and giving collision bounds. You don't have to do this, but then he actually sits on the floor. Alright, so zombie guy's a lot faster than me. I'm just gonna slow him down a bit. Uh, velocity one. There we go. Now he's slow and pathetic. Now he's gonna readjust his course every single time you go somewhere. He's gonna find the quickest way, like you see there. He's gonna turn around because it's quicker. And that's basically it. Smart AI in the Blender game engine. And just one thing: if you want to get rid of the little red line, just deselect visualize, and you just have it like that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, just send me a comment or an inbox. Yeah, that's all. Thanks, guys.